hello guys it's Vinci right here welcome to my channel today I'm going to teach you how to make this collar some people call it bishop collar some people call it turtleneck however I'm here to teach you how to make it whatever name you call it please if you're not subscribed to my channel do so and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share my video thank you so much so let's get into the video <laughs> Alright, so um, the first thing you are going to make use of your um, collar gum, and you are going to what I have cut into today is the next size of eighteen, and you are going to fold it into two. And don't forget, you are making use of your collar gum. So you are going to divide it by two. So our neck, which is eighteen divided by two, is going to give us nine. So the first thing you are going to do is to draw a straight line, like so. Okay, so since you are dividing it by, by 2, you are going to make sure your 9 is at the edge like that. 9 is at the edge like that. Then you you place it around the straight line you drew, around the vertical line you drew. Now this is the secret. You are going to bend it. You know some people bend it. Some people leave it straight like that. Or some people bend it a little bit at the tip, but the secret is you should bend it right from um, the three inches mark, and the the height between the top where you bend it to and the straight line should be two inches like that. Then the bending should start from three inches. You can see the bend is starts from three inches and it gets to that two inches mark at the top. Then you bend your tape like that and you draw your line to follow your tape like that then mark the edge of the tape to make sure it's still at nine then you draw the edge of your color like this now at this point it depends on how fat you want your color to be i always like it slim so i'm using one inch all around one inch and i'll use my ruler to draw the straight part and then I use freehand to draw the rest of the part. Now if I like, I can leave it like this four corner. If I like, I can curve it. So for this video, I'm going to curve it. Then I can use my scissors to just, to just cut it off. So guys, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that whenever I drop a video, you know, and you can be the first person to watch. And please, if you have any question, leave me a comment. I promise to reply every single comment on this channel. So as you can see, this is our color. So at the end now, I'm going to curve this edge with my scissors. However, you can leave yours if you want it straight like that. And by the way, thank you guys. I just got um, to 100 subscribers. <laughs> In a matter of two weeks, thank you so much. I love the growth. So, as you can see, our color is ready. You can see how curve is looking already because of that curved edge. You can see it. The advantage of curving the edge is so that it doesn't, if even if the person wears it and he leaves it um, without buttoning, it is going to still look curved like that. Even. If, if someone wears the clothes and he doesn't button it, it's still going to look as though it's buttoned. Yeah, so you're going to leave one inch at the top like that and then you trim the curves like that. And you fold it and iron it. If you don't have a big material like that, it's fine. You can just get a material, another material and put it under. You can see. Then you sew your scissors. still use a scissors to trim the curved edge of the um, facing the one on that is called facing so you trim the down part like that then you trim both the fabric like that make sure you leave at least 0.4 inches around all right now we have two parts one is the main um, color and then the other one is the facing then you fold your edges like that follow it gently as you can see you fold it 
make sure the fold is perfect so the next you are going to do is you go to your machine and finish up the work on the machine so our color is ready so you can go to the machine now and sew it this is our facing and our main color so let's get to the machine so the next thing if you like now this is a matter of choice if you like you can sew the top like that you can just sew um, up to about 0.4 inches you can see you can also sew 0.4 inches away from the down not up to not up to half inch not up to 0 0.5 point 0.4 however if you like you can leave it without sewing it so for the sake of this video i'm going to sew halfway so that we can see how it looks when you sew it and you can see how it looks when you don't sew it however if you want to do if you want to sew on the, on the, some cosmos cloth you have to decide whether you want to sew it completely or you want to leave it without sewing it so i'm going to leave it like this so that you see how it looks when you sew it and how it looks when you don't sew it so you can see i've sewn one part and i've left the other part like that yeah so that's it so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to carry your facing and just sew them together just arrange it sew them together this is so easy guys So your sewing should start at exactly the place where the collar gum starts. So you don't you don't give a, a very big piece you don't need. So just follow the curve gently. Just follow the curve gently. Sew it like that, and it's it's important to note. Um, you don't sew it too close to the collar gum. I don't sew it too far from the collar gum. You just leave a little space, say 0.1 inch away from the collar gum. As you can see, the line I'm drawing. Just leave 0.1 inch away from the collar gum. Let it not be too far and let it not be too close. So you just sew it like that. Just sew it gently. Follow your curves gently. So that's it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to trim it. And when you're trimming it, when you get to the curves, you trim it a little bit close to the stitch. Then when you are, when you pass the curves, curvy side, then you trim it away from the stitch. then you can turn it so that's our color you cannot turn it so you can start swimming it now so guys don't forget my promise i promise that once we get to a thousand subscribers I am going to start a series on suit making from the drafting down to the finishing. It's a promise. So the least you can do is just to share my video so that I can get a wider reach and we can get to our 1000 subscribers. We are already at 100 and thank you so much for that. So you are going to sew it like that. Follow the edge. When you get to the curves, you go slowly so that you can get the curves perfectly. So you can recommend, you can request for tutorials in the comment section. What do you want me to teach? Next, you can always recommend the request in the comment section and I will go and in, look into it and teach you guys. So you can see one part is sewn and one part is not sewn. It's just because I want to show you. You can either choose what to do. So it's your choice, whatever you want to do, just do it. 
So you can see how the call is already looking. Fine. So this has to cut a total neck. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. So in the description part of this video, I'm going to drop a link to my WhatsApp group. You can join and discuss with other tailors and ask me questions and I'll be there to answer. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.